Some very concerning news coming from the West, as French senators have put forward a new bill to make criticism of Israel a crime. The proposed bill would penalise anyone who criticises any aspect of Israel and its policies with harsh fines and even jail time. For example, those who criticise the Israeli occupation could face up to two years in prison and a €75,000 fine. Anyone who denies the existence of the State of Israel faces one year in prison and a €45,000 fine. And those who explicitly incite hatred or violence against the occupation face five years in prison and a €100,000 fine. It comes at a time where Western governments have been accused of trying to silence pro-Palestinian activism amid Israel's invasion of Gaza. Last month, France tried to ban pro-Palestinian protests altogether to apparently avoid disturbances to the public order. Germany and the UK have also been restricting pro-Palestinian protests and are considering banning protests, slogans and other forms of activism. In particular, UK Home Secretary Suella Braverman has described the protests as hate marches and wants to ban the phrase from the river to the sea, claiming it incites genocide against Jews instead of Palestinian liberation. The crackdown on pro-Palestinian voices has caused outrage and is accused of being a threat to free speech. In addition, many argue that these restrictions are politically motivated and are a reflection of Western double standards rooted in racism and colonialism. They highlight how Western governments show and encourage solidarity for Israel and Ukraine but refuse to even condemn the killing of Palestinians and are actively censoring their voices. Western governments claim they are cracking down on anti-Semitism, which has seen a huge rise since the initial October 7th attack. But many argue that, whilst genuine anti-Semitism must be vigorously opposed, legitimate criticism of Israel should not be stifled. They add that the Israeli government often tries to conflate the two in order to shield itself from criticism of its apartheid and oppression. Palestinian liberation is fundamentally about equality and justice for all people, not about hating on Judaism.